Okay, so now that we've taken a look at a maximum function, let's take a moment and look at a minimum function. So essentially, a minimum function is going to return the lowest value in a range of cells. So again, to learn this function, we're going to learn how to type it out first. So I'm going to always start with an equals. And then to activate the minimum function, we're going to type the word min. As soon as I open, open the bracket, again, my syntax helper pops up. It says number one, number two. It's asking for an individual cell or range of cells. So in this case, the range that I want will be B5 to D5, and I'm simply going to type that in. Keep in mind, of course, you could use your cursor and select it at that point. It would put the range in for you. And then I'm just going to close the bracket. So if we evaluate this function, it's going to say, okay, show me the minimum value in the range of B5 to D5. So as soon as I hit enter, this should return a value of 3,500. Of course it does, and we can then fill that down. Now, just like with the maximum function, there is a fast way to do this. However, it is going to put in an incorrect function based on the layout of my spreadsheet. So, if I were to select the cells that I want to know the minimum value for, plus the cell I want to put the minimum value in, that will work if I use this little auto sum button again. Remember, if I click the little drop down arrow, I get common functions, min being one of them. Here's the problem, is that it's going to include this maximum value summary, which isn't incorrect, simply because, of course, the maximum value can't be the minimum value unless they're all the same. But essentially, it, it, it is not the exact range I want. I just want this range here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click where I want the minimum value. I'm going to click on the auto sum button or the drop down arrow next to the auto sum button and choose min. And in this case, it puts in, like I said, the incorrect range. I don't want B11 to E11. I just want B11 to D11. So at this point, I could just use my mouse, readjust that range, hit enter, and in goes the minimum value. And of course, I could fill that down. So there you have it. That is the min function.